Priya, you know I put this dish together because I just wanted to have a chicken schnitzel. You know that, don't you? <laughs> anything Any excuse. Anything deep fried is going to be delicious. But when you make a bento box with a chicken schnitzel, it's going to be great. I like making sushi rolls with, uh, with chicken schnitzel in it, mayonnaise and all those other things. But I'm going to show you how easy it is. And my secret ingredient is the teriyaki sauce. Okay. When you put the teriyaki with chicken, it makes it taste delicious. Now, the first thing you do is cut open the packet, and I've got these beautiful skinless breasts here. While I'm doing this, uh, Priya, if you could grab that uh, knob of ginger and microplane it. Can do. The ginger, teriyaki and the chicken go well, so well together. And what I'm going to do is butterfly this chicken. Really easy to do. You open it up like that, and then with a good sharp knife, you open it up and then bend it over. Then you get this lovely, big love heart, heart shape. shape. Yeah. I love this dish and the heart shape just reflects how I feel. There we go. Look at that. I love Beautiful. it. I love it. Beautiful. Teriyaki sauce. Use plenty of this. It marinades it beautifully. So plenty of this on the outside of it. It just adds lots and lots of flavour to it. Really important. And once I've got this, I'll pop this out of the way here. And in goes some salt. Plenty of ginger. The more ginger you add to this, yeah. the better. Now, with a pair of tongs, because it gets a bit messy, I'm just going to mix that around a little bit so the teriyaki and the ginger get all over it. And you're doing the right thing, cracking those eggs. We're going to crumb these chicken schnitzels and we're going to put them in some flour and some sesame seeds. And what I've got here is the sesame seeds that are already toasted and the panko breadcrumbs. Oh. That's another little tip like that makes it even more delicious. Now, I've got the oil on already. I've got these marinating here. So if you whisk up the eggs with a fork, and while you're doing that, I just put a tiny little pinch of salt in there just to make those eggs even more delicious. And there we go. That looks fantastic. So we'll line this up. I'll mix the sesame seeds in here. Got the egg and a little bit of flour, probably about a cup of flour straight into that bowl here. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you set up a little station like this. That's perfect. And this is something, if you've got kids in the kitchen and you want to teach them how to cook, this is a great way of doing it. They love crumb stuff, don't they? Yeah, they do. But there getting them involved in the kitchen. I, I've always said the more kids cook in the kitchen, the more they eat. It's not going to work for Brussels sprouts, but just about but everything else. Actually, it will. I'm just going to debate you there for two <laughs> seconds. It does. Food exposure. Get them in the kitchen. Exactly. They're more likely to eat it. Priya, I'm going to bring you home to my three teenage boys yeah. and see how you go with it. So if you give that a good dust with flour, yes. and you can see a lot of the times when you make a chicken schnitzel like this, you just use a regular schnitzel. But by adding something like teriyaki sauce, it really brings out the flavour. So mm. once you've got plenty of flour on yes. it, straight into the egg there like yes. that, and oh. we just mix it around. That's fine. Beautiful. Just mix it all around and get some egg on it. Okay, so once you've got plenty of egg on the outside of it, pop it straight into there, Priya. And my little tip is get someone else to do it. And your hands are really dirty, aren't they? Well done. Got all the stuff all over it. And you give it a bit of a pat like this. If you want to, you can double crumb it back into the egg and mix it around. But I reckon this is enough on there. Breadcrumbs and the sesame seed as well. I'm just going to pop this straight into the oil like this. Now, my oil is already nice and hot. And Priya, this is a little tip that I like to tell people. When you put it into the oil like this, and I'll make sure there's plenty of it, I put it in like this and drop it away from me. You can see it's starting to sizzle away nicely. Cook it nice and slowly, nice and gently. We'll crumb that. By the time this is cooked, we'll have everything cleaned up beautifully and we'll get on with the next stage of our bento box. Priya, we've got everything ready on the board here. And we'll go through all these little bits later on. But the first thing, the most important thing for me, apart from the chicken, is, of course, the rice. And what I've got is some sushi rice here. I use one cup of sushi rice, wash it really well uh, to get all of the starch off it, and then into the pot with two cups of water, bring it up to the boil. I put some baking paper on it, put to a low heat, let it simmer away for about 15 minutes, then turn it off and let it sit there. Resist the temptation to open it up and have a look at it okay. because you want the rice to absorb all of that liquid. I'm going to add some uh, rice vinegar, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, and some sugar, a little bit of white sugar, just to sweeten it up. Optional extra if you don't want to have the sugar, but I think it makes it taste really good. I'd probably leave that bit out, but really? that's okay. And then you just mix it around with a spatula so the rice absorbs that lovely flavour, the sweetness and the vinegar, and it all comes beautifully together. Now, while I'm mixing this around, Priya, I've got these lovely cukes here. If you can slice uh, two or three of them up, pop them into the bowl there, and to that bowl I want you to add some of this chilli paste, some deep-fried shallots, and if I catch up to you in time, I'll put some garlic chives in there as well. Beautiful. 
but you just mix this around and you just smell the flavour coming off that. As soon as the vinegar hits it, mm. you can smell it, can't you? I can smell it. It smells really balanced with that kind of sweetness and then the acidity. Perfect. That's exactly what you smell want. Smell the balance. And if you're smelling it already as being really nice and it's getting your taste buds going, that's what you're looking for. Now, in a bowl here, I've got some avocado that's diced up and I'll squeeze some lime in there. More of that acid, more of that zing, more yes. of that vitamin C so we don't get scurvy, which is really important. Yes. Scurvy's, Scurvy's not good. It's a real danger nowadays. Um, we don't see it these days, but, yeah, thanks for the reminder. But my, uh, my ancestors were pirates, apparently, so they used to uh, they eat knew a lot scurvy of... scurvy well. They knew all yeah. about scurvy. Um, sometimes they call me the scurvy dog, but that's another thing altogether. <laughs> Garlic chives here, slice them all the way through. You can use regular chives, coriander, parsley, whatever you want. But I just love the flavour of the garlic chives. I'm going to put some on my avocado and I'll grab some and pop them on top of oh, your yes, cukes as well. Now, my avocado here, I'm going to add some flavour and some loveliness to it. I've got some of this daikon, pickle yes. daikon. They colour it with turmeric, so it gets this really, really yellow colour. In it goes, and it's got a great flavour to it as well. And in goes this lovely mixture of sesame seeds and nori sheets, and you just mix it around like this, beautiful. and it comes up beautifully. Gosh, this smells so beautiful together. It does, it yeah, does. Yeah, this especially. And how easy is that? We've got it together already without any mucking around, so it's time to bring the bento box into the picture, and we just load it up with all our favourite stuff. I'll yeah. start off with the rice. Yes. And I love the rice. The rice is good because it fills you up, and we've got all these other lovely flavours that we put on and around it. I'm going to put some rice in the bottom of two of these little compartments here. Okay. Priya, go for it. Load it up, put some uh, wherever you want to go. And I've got this chicken here, mm. and I'll slice this chicken breast up all the way through here like that, and then I'll cut it into some nice long strips. You'll have that crunchy, juicy chicken breast on here. Look at that. Oh, you're going there. I was oh. really going to... I didn't want to have a collision. We could have had a so collision. Go, could, it, could have got messy, couldn't I it? I know, it could have. And the idea with this is you've got lots of lovely flavours going on, lots of pickles, lots of sharpness, all the nice things. Now I'll grab these two ginger here. I've got some pink ginger, which I'm going to put on yes. the side here like this. I've also got this white ginger here, which is also delicious. Plenty of ginger on the side there. That's it, dipping the egg. Fancy egg. It's is she really sneaking fancy. in here? You can sneak that into there, Beautiful. no worries at all. So we've got the egg, we've cut it in half, it's boiled egg, and we dip it in poppy seed just to give it a bit of crunch and a bit of flavour. We've got some wasabi there, and of course the teriyaki sauce. If you want to pour some of that oh. teriyaki sauce over the top of the chicken and over the top of the rice, so it's got a lovely little flavour. Wow. And I'll put a little bit of this wasabi just off to the side there. Have a little taste of that one. I'm just going to use my finger and grab this little piece here off to the side there like that. And mm, mm, mm. Mm. That cucumber, wow, that is a flavour hit. And I have to say, for gut health, eating a really nice range of colours, it's a winner for me. My gut's healthy. 